with J&J &J True Outdoor Adventures and I'm going to do a review of a camera that I just got that we'll start using on our videos you know, when we're hunting and stuff. Uh, I just bought one. It's a clone of a GoPro and I've already had it out of the package but you know I'm going to show you what I got and uh, I'll try to shoot some video with it and see what kind of quality it's got of course can't go outside with it it's pouring the rain yes it comes with a waterproof casing but uh with the waterproof casing on it you don't get any audio uh, so i'm just going to do it in here in my reloading and leather working room and we'll see what it's like okay now here it is it's uh 1080p h264 full hd sports cam uh, waterproof up to 30 meters in the case. This one's black. And uh, I'll just try to get it out of here with one hand since I'm holding the cell phone. I'm videoing this with the cell phone. I don't have my other camera out. But this comes with all kinds of attachments. Okay. There's the camera. And instruction manual like I said I've already had it out of here I've been kind of playing with it this is Wi-Fi capable so I can hook it to the cell phone and uh, use my cell phone to you know if the camera's on to make it start recording it's got a one and a half inch little screen in the back uh, of course it's in the waterproof case and then there's all kinds of attachments here some straps another back for the case. It's got two slots where if you use that in that case then it's not waterproof. Uh, some 3M tape and a uh, piece of wire. Uh, I guess that's to keep you from losing it. Got the handlebar grip. It's got the uh, different mounts that you can use. Uh, several of those. Here's the uh, hat clip mount. Here's uh, some more mounts to go on those. These here got a tripod mount. You got another mount that you can use the 3M tape. There already has 3M tape on it. USB cord for charging. There's the charger. And then this is your mount when you're not using a waterproof case. And zip ties and a cleaning cloth but uh, let me get this opened up and let you see it a little bit closer okay here's the uh, waterproof case got the camera out of it of course you got the power button you got your start button here you got your up and down wi-fi turn on button uh, i did go ahead and purchase uh, a little charger and two extra batteries and they're on charge now uh, this little flap, of course, should be inside this door, but this door is a little hard to open up with that flap there. It helps it open up. But this is the camera, as you can see. There's your power button. Basically, this is your shutter button up here. It has a HDMI. Don't think I can get this camera to focus like I should. It has an HDMI port here, USB port here, and it uses a micro SD card. And I've got a 32 gigabyte card there. Here is the uh, microphone, and over here is the speaker. And this is the buttons you use to control to go through your settings. You push this button for the Wi-Fi. I'm going to turn it on right now. And you'll notice that the red light come on. It has a little bit of audio. And of course, I kind of pan around with it. You can see on that little one and a half inch screen but uh, the front button will change you from video, which it's already set to do, to uh, still picture. Uh, I think this does three pictures real quick. It's got time a timer on it to time lapse photos. That's to go into the settings, and we're back to the video. Uh, when you turn the Wi-Fi on, which I can't really do right now, but I can push the button. It says uh, preparing for Wi-Fi connection. Uh, let's see if I can get it down here. Read that. 
Uh, you can't see it real good. But uh, ready for Wi-Fi connection. Of course, I've got the Wi-Fi turned off on my phone. You push it again, and it turns the Wi-Fi off. But uh, that's it. So let me see if I can do some video with it. Turn it back off. Okay, now I'm recording with it. There's my cat in my room. Kitty kitty. Okay. Now, now, he, now he wants to look up. Of course, this is a wide angle view. You see my reloading bench. Not the best job of keeping it clean. And some of my leather stuff that I've done. I'll turn the camera around. Of course, here's me with the camera. I don't know what the audio is like until I put it on the computer and see what it sounds like. But uh, on the screen here, it looks real good. Of course, I got the date, time, and stamp on it. And uh, the, uh, <clears throat> you know, this camera would be great to have behind me in the tree. I even sat down on the, the uh, coast of where the action is going to take place when I'm bow hunting. Mounted on the barrel of my rifle if I wanted to. You know, just all kinds of options. So I'm going to turn this off and uh, try to get this all spliced and edited together. But again, this is uh, just a clone of the the uh, GoPro. So we'll just see what kind of kind of video. With 32 gigabyte card on here. It looks like I can get uh, five hours of video. Now, I don't know how long the battery will last. This one wasn't fully charged when I put it in. So, still a lot of review to do on it, but you know, this is just a brief uh, review uh, of this little SJ4000 camera. It's not a SJ Cam, it's a clone of the SJ Cam 4000, but <clears throat> it looks like it's going to do pretty good. Okay, I'm going to try to show you. Uh the uh, the settings on this you hit the top button to get into it and you have different settings video resolution you got looping video timestamp exposure photo resolution burst photo time lapse continuous lapse power frequency language date and time sounds indicator upside down mode, screen saver, power saver, TV out, format, that's the format your SD card, reset, and then the version, which is Action Cam W8 151230. And uh, that's all there is, and then there's the X to get out. Of course, I'm hitting the top button to get out of that. Now it's back into video mode. I'm hoping you could see all that. Like I said, I was using, I'm using my iPhone here to record this. So we just have to see what it turns out to be. Power it back off. Oh, wait a minute. You gotta hold the power button in to power it off. And there it goes, action camera. All right, thanks for watching. There'll be more reviews coming up on that camera.